Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is William White. I'm with Artex Tile and Stone Installation Products. This morning, we're gonna be going through the Artex TLT Shower System. Joining me this morning, I have Mr. Mark Penine. Mark Penine is the head of our technical services on our Tile and Stone Division. And then I have my counterpart, Mr. Tim Aheimer. Uh, Tim Aheimer and I are both field marketing specialists. Tim, Tim covers the East Coast, I cover the West Coast. So we're gonna dive into this TLT shower system. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna install our building panels or our wall board. So the wall board, it is a half inch XPS cement coated building panel. We have a variety of different thicknesses. I'll go through that in half a second. But you'll notice that Scott, is, or uh, Mark, sorry Mark, I almost forgot who you are. Mark is using a screw and washer system. So Mark's not gonna put in all the screws. Typically we're gonna do 16 for our studs and go every 12 inches on center. So the building panel itself. What I really like about our half inch building panel is it's very rigid. So I really like that about the panel. I'll actually pass this around so you guys can feel it. We have a variety of different thicknesses available. So here I have the half inch, we have quarter inch. We go all the way up to the two inch panel, which is structural. So if you wanna build a countertop, a bench, um, a table, you can build it out of the two inch board and you can stand on it once the sealant has dried. This is actually a structural component. We also do an eighth inch panel. Now you might be thinking, what's an eighth inch panel good for? Well, first of all, notice how rigid it is in just an eighth inch. What I like to use the eighth inch for is actually building out our mosaics or say you have a deco band and you're, and you're glass tile or deco is thinner than your field tile, you can actually mount them up here and then mount the whole thing in and it builds that out for you. So super handy to have some eighth inch on hand. I typically keep a little bit around just for that purpose. So it looks like the guys are just about wrapped up on throwing together the panels. Mark's just putting in a couple more screws. Now Mark did, don't know if you guys noticed this, Mark did use the TLT 700 adhesive in that 90 degree corner, right where the two panels meet. So anytime we have two panels coming together, we're gonna to go ahead and use sealant there. Looks like they're just about wrapped up. We do have a variety of different size niches available as well. We have three different sizes. What I like about our niches is they're made in one piece so that they are completely waterproof. I really like that. We have, they're always gonna be 16 wide so they fit into a stud bay or just shy of 16. And then we have three different heights, 16 by 16, 16 by 20, and 16 by 28. So we also provide a shelf. Now, if you wanna use it without the shelf, that's great. If you wanna put the shelf down low and kinda of make like a little soap area and then use your Costco bottles of uh, shampoo in there like my wife does, that's totally cool too. We just give you a lot of flexibility with the TLT system. So we also give you two different options for mounting the drain assembly. Here, we're using a two-piece type clamping drain. Mark has gone ahead and pulled off the top piece, and we have this adapter. Mark is applying the TLT 700, and then he's just gonna place that adapter in and go ahead and bolt that down. Our other option, and both of these come in the drain kit, is this connect tight connection. So if, if the plumber is, a, is accustomed to being prepping out for a shower system and leaves you a two inch stub out, it's pretty cool because you don't have to use any glue or adhesive, you just cut your pipe off and you press fit this together and it actually is an approved plumbing device for drain and waste pipes. So we have both options are built into the drain kit. Looks like Mark is just about done with that. Next thing we're gonna go on to is our pan. 
So with the pan we are going to thin set this down. I'm going to pull this apart. Mark's just applying a little bit of the TLT 700 right where our pan is going to meet our building panels. And on the back of it what you can see Tim doing over here is he's actually placed our hub adapter. This hub adapter what's kind of cool about it is you know sometimes that plumber comes in, he puts in that drain line and then he straps it to the side. Have you guys ever seen that and all of a sudden that pipe gets cranked over a little bit? Well the cool thing is is that we can accept up to nine degrees of slant in that drain pipe so it doesn't have to be exactly plumb and we can still accommodate it. So it gives you a lot of, a lot of flexibility again. Now the guys are just throwing down, what mortar are you guys using, Tim? All right, the guys are using our, our X5, which is kind of our, our day in and day out, do everything mortar. It's the one I like to use literally every day. We're gonna spread that both onto our substrate as well as the back of the pan, which is what Tim's doing right now. Nicely done. So a couple things about the pan. So our, if anyone is familiar with our Artex 8 plus 9, 8 plus 9 is our cement based waterproofing. It's typically a roll on or paint on waterproofing. We actually apply our Artex waterproof membrane with our Ar Artex waterproofing, liquid applied waterproofing. So we have double layer of waterproofing on top of our pan. Now the pans, a couple cool notes about them. They come in several standard sizes. You know, the typical three by three, three by six, three by five, four by four. With center point drains, we can also do custom pans. So we can do a, a pan in the shape of anything and put the drain anywhere in that pan. So I always like to use the Artex logo. We could make a pan in the shape of the Artex logo. I can put the drain in the A, the D, or the X and still have a completely level perimeter regardless of where that drains at. Typically for a custom pan, they're made in, in Chattanooga, Tennessee or Rossville, Georgia, right across the river. We, we ask for about a 10 week, or sorry, 10 day lead time on that. So if you have a custom pan, because we make them here in the US, we have a very, very fast turnaround on that. Looks like Tim's just finishing up spreading his mortar here on the back side of the pan. Another cool benefit to our pan, we don't have any size restrictions, big or small. Our pan can accept any size tile and just use a standard mortar to set it. So we don't have to use an epoxy or anything like that. Um, just use your standard thin set and, uh, and adhere your tile to the pan. The slope is already built into it, so you don't have to worry about having proper pitch. As long as you have a level substrate, you just drop your plan, pan into place, which is what the guys are ready to do right here. Nicely done, guys. So they're just gonna pick the pan up, flip it over here, They're gonna drop this into place. Now the cool thing is we're making a blind connection so we don't have to have access to our plumbing to be able to make this connection. Mark's just gonna look down his drain hole, make sure things get nice and centered up. And then he places his hands right around that drain and he presses down to make sure that he properly seats that drain into that hub adapter. Now Mark's moving on to our curb. Again, he's using the Artex TLT 700 adhesive, running anywhere where the pan is going to meet the wall, or sorry, our curb is going to meet the pan and or the wall board. Using that adhesive, placing it in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and spread some thin set.
So with our curbs, we do have like three different lengths in curbs. The cool thing is, is that we make them completely symmetrical so that you can use them in any orientation. You can cut them, you can miter them. Here you go, Tim. <laughs> I stole it from you, sorry, my friend. So they go ahead and thin set that down. Now they're made perfectly flat. If you wanna add pitch to it, just add a little bit of thin set along that outside edge and then press it into place like Mark's done here. Nice. Now that our wall board's in, our pan's in, our curb's in, you can see this is moving very, very quickly. Now we're ready to address all of our changes of plane. So to do the changes of plane, Mark's just gonna throw a piece of cardboard in here so that he doesn't accidentally damage that pan. Nice. He's gonna start with a pre-made inside corner. So we have a variety of inside corner, outside corners, uh, the shower um, pipe outlet, as well as shower valve collars that we can just thin set into place. The nice thing about using pre-made corners is you can fold these on the job site, but the pre-made corners actually make it a little bit easier and a little bit faster. So Mark's actually gonna use a pair of plastic putty knives and he's gonna hold it in place and then he's gonna squeeze out all that extra thin set. So the one thing I like about our, our corners and our banding is that it's very thin. So you don't get a whole bunch of buildup when you're using our, our banding. Now they're ready to go ahead and start installing the banding section. So our banding Pretty easy to use, comes in a roll. It's a little over five inches wide. So you'll notice that Tim has taken our banding and he just pre-creases it. So just like to take it, throw a little crease in it and that way it sits nice and tight right into that corner. Perfect. We do have, secondarily, we do have a fast track option, the eight plus nine that we actually use to, to glue our membrane on top of the pan. We can use the eight plus nine at the change of plane with SK mesh. That provides a fast track option. You can flood test that in as little as four hours. So if you need to move quickly, we have options that you can actually go very, very quick with. So again, Mark's just placing that banding into place grabbing his plastic putty knives. We like to use plastic ones, that way you don't accidentally cut through the membrane itself. He just presses that right into the corner and then squeezes out all the extra thin set. Nicely done, Mark, that looks awesome. Cool. So with our banding, we're gonna wanna band all the way around any changes of plane. So we're gonna do our inside corner of our walls. We're also gonna do all the way around the pan. So they're gonna go ahead and start um, banding out our back wall. We're not gonna go ahead and go through all of the banding, but just know that we would wanna do that. It's just kinda like the screws and washers. He's not gonna go through all the screws and washers. We do wanna follow the proper schedule every 12 inches on center on all of our studs, 16 on center. Mark's using a V-notch trowel, so we're not using a whole lot of thin set, just enough to adhere these bandings into position. So after they place this last piece of banding in, we're actually ready to install our drain assembly, or drain grate. That looks awesome, Mark. So with our drain assembly, as Mark finishes this up, with our drain assembly, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but we have, oops, left part of it in there. So it is a double threaded collar. There we go. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's actually a kerf right here in the, in the edge of it. 
So this is actually built in weep into our drain. So any water that gets through our tile assembly can actually flow down, hit these weeps that are built into it, and they're built into both levels of our drain assembly so that all the moisture is directed dr down the drain. So Mark's just gonna thread that into place. Again, we do have a double threaded drain grate. And the cool thing about that is you can adjust the height and then with the double threaded, we can line it up so that we're square with our tile layout. Nicely done, Mark. Tim, you're working hard over there too, brother. <laughs> we do have a variety of different styles drains. Uh, you'll notice that Mark is using our flat black, which flat black is incredibly popular. So here I have the chrome. We also have satin nickel. Um, we also have different designs on our drain grate. What this does is it allows you to match your drain grate with whatever your plumbing fixtures are so that everything coordinates. That does it for our, for our assembly. As you can see, these shower systems go together really, really fast. Oh, you're right. Almost forgot that part, didn't we? So what, what Mark's doing right here, he's applying the TLT 700 sealant over top of our screw holes. So we actually have two options. If, if you're a person that likes to do the patches, just little squares of the, of the banding, we're totally cool with that. I like the sealant method myself personally. I find that it, it stays a little bit flatter and doesn't create any buildup in my assembly. That pretty much does it for our installation. I'll open it up for any questions that we may have. Anyone have any questions about the Artix TLT shower system? That's because these guys did such an awesome job at demonstrating. No questions. All righty. Well, I want to thank everyone for your time today. If you get a chance or you do have any questions, swing over to see us. We're at booth 3634. You can see the Artex glowing cubes there in the sky. Swing over, say hi, check us out. Thank you very much. Everyone have a really good day.